everyone and welcome back to Atman Unlimited. We're back in the office again and I figured we'd do another Fusion 360 video. Uh, this will be another post-processor video. One of the things I'd like to talk about in the post-processor today is the end position for your machine. So this can be pretty important for the health of you or your operators. A lot of the machines will return to G28 which is the part home for the machine, which may not be the most convenient position for the machine for loading and unloading of material. I played this clip uh, in one of my past videos of myself installing my vise in the machine. Now this vise weighs about 75 pounds. It's not something that you want to be bending forward with to load into the machine. So if you notice in this clip, the machine table is all the way forward towards the door and it's centered in front of the door. This allows for a much easier loading and unloading of a vise or materials. So let's look at the post processor and see how we can set a machine home. Now for the machine home what we can use is G code 53. G53 is an absolute move in the machine coordinate system. So no matter what you have your work offset set to or your tool coordinate system offset set to, if you use G53, it will always move to the exact same position relative to the machine every time. So it eliminates having to worry about work offsets and tool offsets, uh, tool coordinate system offsets. So we're gonna use G53 in this example. Most machines support a G53 command. Even some of the personal CNC machines uh, will support G53. Now, with Fusion, it's a little bit different than with HMS or HMS Express. In HMS Works, you have the ability to define a machine configuration. And inside that machine configuration, you can set a home uh, X and Y coordinate so that the machine will move to a home position other than the work offset home position. In Fusion 360 they didn't give you a way to do a machine configuration so we have to do it in the post processor. But in this video I'm going to show you a way that you can carry that out to the Fusion property page on the post processor. So let's dive in and see how this all works and, and fits together. So here's my Fusion 360 example project again probably looks familiar from the other videos and then I have the standard Fanuc uh, post processor open here on the right. So if we look all the way down at the bottom of the post processor the function on close is the very last thing that the post processor calls to finish up and end the file. So I've already processed the G code for this and this is what it looks like what we're interested in is these last couple of lines here. And these last couple of lines here is what the onClose function generates. So looking back at onClose, let's kind of just walk through it real quick. So we're going to write a blank line. That's this. Then after we write a blank line, we're going to do coolant off. So there's your M9. Then after coolant off, we're going to move the z-axis to the G28 home. So that's this line. After that we're going to disable our length compensation and then we're going to set a new work plane and then this piece of code here is where it moves the XY position home. Now this looks pretty complex to just output that one line. And the reason for that and I can attest to this in my own projects. As a software engineer or a software developer that's writing code, it's difficult to strike a balance between flexibility and usability. The more flexible you make something, the more complex the code gets. The less flexible it is, the easier the code is. So there's this delicate balance between these two forces, and it's hard to strike that balance. So this chunk of code that's highlighted now 
is used in almost every single post processor that I've looked at. So that's why it's written the way it is, so that it can be just copied and pasted and it can be used for a wide variety of machine and machine controllers. So that's why it is the way it is. Now if we look at this, what it's basically doing is there's an if statement in the beginning and it looks at this machine configuration. Now machine configuration is what's called a class in the, the software realm. Basically is it's just a group of information that has a bunch of values associated with it. And what that it's doing is it's looking to see if a home position for X and a home position for Y has been defined. And if it has been defined, it's going to take a different action than if it's not. So if it's not defined, you can see this G28 code. That's what the existing code is outputting. Here's the G28. If it is defined, however, that's when we're going to get our G53 command down here. So the G53 command is the command that we want to use. So there's a couple of different ways that we can implement this. And again, it strikes the balance between easy code or flexibility. So if you have one machine, and this is all you're ever going to want to do, and you never want to port this code anywhere, you can pretty much just take this entire block of code and replace it with gformat53, and then just have it output your XY coordinates, and you're done. So that's easy to do. It's brute force. It's hard coded in. It will yield the same results that will yield later on in the video. But what if you don't only have one machine? What if you wanted to keep the flexibility that has been programmed here and carry it on to other programs or other post processors uh, that you may want to use? Well, it's actually pretty simple to set these machine configuration values of home position X and home position Y. Uh, like I said, in HSM Express and HSM Works, you have the machine configuration window where you actually set these values. It's not present in Fusion 360. So let's look at the different ways that we can set these values so then this chunk of code will get executed rather than this chunk of code. So let's look up at the very top where we start our program. And if you recall, just like it's on close, there is a on open. So here's the function on open. And if you notice here, there's a switch and it says, set up your machine here. Now, in the Fusion posts, I noticed that it's always set to false. And again, that's because Fusion doesn't support the machine configuration concept. However, after this case statement, which would be right here, we can insert a line of code here. Now, it took me a while to figure out what to put here because it wasn't very well documented. I had to dig and search the internet quite a bit to find it. So I did all this legwork for you and I already have it pre-configured so I'm going to copy and paste that chunk of code in and there it is. And the chunk of code is merely just calling the machine configuration class and it's going to set the home position X and set home position Y. Now here I've got two values hard-coded 1.0 and 2.0. Real simple test. So let's save the change we made to our post processor. We'll come back over to our Fusion and we'll say post process and it's going to call our stuff and we'll say post. And then let's look at the results. Now remember we had G28 here. Okay, so now notice that that G28 line has now changed to G53. Now the, remember the G53 is going to move our table to an absolute coordinate. So that would be defined by X and Y. In the case of my Fidel, I always send the table to X0 and Y minus 7.75 it's within a quarter inch of the uh, stop, hard stop of the table. So that's all well and good and it works but what if we wanted to make this a little bit more configurable? 
So if you noticed in Fusion, when you do the post-processor, we've got this list of properties. Would it be possible to put the XY home position in this list of properties? And the answer is yes, we can easily do that. So let's show how we would do that. The first thing we have to do is we have to add two more properties to our list, one for our uh, X home and one for our Y home. So under the user defined properties, and here's your tag of properties, you want to add values here. So let's add values there. We're going to add properties for home X and home Y, and we'll default them to one and two. Okay. Now, after adding that, you'll have two new properties that show up in that list in your post-processor screen in Fusion. So once we have home X and home Y defined as properties, now we have to go back to our original code and we have to change this code slightly. And what we have to change it to is this. So here's our two properties that we defined up at the top. Okay, so let's save this and then let's call the post processor again. So now notice you've got home X and home Y and they're highlighted in blue because I previously overrode them to 10 and 20 rather than 1 and 2. So let's post process this one and see what we get. So now you can see we changed so that our G53 is now going to 10 and 20. What if we post process it again and change it to 15 and 30? Post. Reload it. Hmm. Did not change. Ah, there it goes. Problem with Notepad. Okay, so now you can see that it changed to 15 and 30. So now we have it so that it's setting our XY home position and it's setting it base configurable on the properties tab for Fusion. Now let's take it a step further and say okay on some of my machines I want to use G53 but on other machines using the same post processor I want to stick with the G28 method so then let's put a, a switch in there for the properties so let's add another property and this time we'll just name that property set home position and we'll default it to true okay so now that we have our new property set we are going to come down here and now we have to add an if statement. Okay, so now this, this block of code turns into this. So if property set home position is true, then we will set these values. If, this, if, this, if the if statement isn't true, then it won't set these values. So now let's take a look at how that operates. So we have this new set home position and we have our set home values. Let's set five and eight now. And we'll say, yes, please use those. We'll post. And let's take a look at our code. And then we've got five and eight and it's still using G53. Okay, so let's do another post and we'll say no, I don't want to set the home position. And let's post. Let's go back over, reload, and now you can see that it goes back to the original way that the post processor was working with G28. So by some quick easy mods to the post processor, we can add and, ex and extend the functionality 
within Fusion to give us some of the features that aren't necessarily available that uh, are normally available in HSM Express and HSM Works. So I hope that helps. Um, it's always good to move your machine table as far forward and centered as possible so that you can easily load and unload your machine. Uh, definitely saves on the lower back injuries, very important. So I hope this video helps um, not only with the G53 and the home move, but also you can see how by utilizing the properties screen uh, you can add and extend the functionality of your post processors. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.